What's up everybody, it's Nova, and I've talked a lot on this channel about tips for surviving into boar, but I've never went over my own depths and how you guys can learn them. But there's also no one tip that nobody can use in this game that can help you win every single fight you get into. So every fight requires context of where you are in the map, what gun you have, what armor you have, and how much ammo you have, and the list goes on. But there is something I think you and myself can learn from, so we won't make the same mistakes again. So we have three clips. Each clip is around a couple minutes long. We're going to figure out what I should have done and how we can apply them and apply them for future raids in the future. So we're going to be talking about playing overly aggressive and also playing super slow and not really understanding a situation to the fullest and what we could have done and what we should have done. But aggression sometimes is the key in Tabor, but if you don't know how to properly use that aggression, you can often sometimes be running blindly in and get yourselves in a bad spot where your opponent has free kill and some free loot. So if you like the video, think about dropping a like or maybe comment down below. YouTube tells me that 81% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you like my content, think about subscribing. I post two times a week and stream sometimes here and there, but also i wanted to say for the people who were um kind of in last week's video on that one post i did say i was gonna stream i could not stream no time this week i'm very sorry about that it's because of my work schedule but i promise you next week we're gonna stream because i am off next week so let's get right into the video so for this first clip starting off, I spawn in a missile silo and bringing nothing but an FN and a laser sight. Trusting my gut with this laser sight, I decided to put it in my bag and keep on rolling. I was honestly debating on going through elevator 2, but I decided to just fully go all the way down. Avoiding all the scavs and most likely players that have spawned. And also, just to my luck, I found me a astronaut helmet, or space helmet, or whatever you want to call it. Level 1 helmet, space helmet, astronaut helmet. I just call it a space helmet. It's the simplest and easiest thing to remember. So, after going to check this player's spawn, seeing that nobody's down there, I decided to fully rotate up the ladder. At this point, I knew something was wrong, because I heard footsteps. But I don't know if you guys heard them. I heard footsteps of a player running kind of semi in the middle of the uh, garage area and I decided to play it a little bit slow after this point. Propping my hand just on the second ladder just so I can be ready to dash up there as quickly as possible. After not hearing any footsteps for quite a while I decided to fully commit and go all the way up there. Pushing it into garage, I decided to check this back spawn by the anti-tank, seeing that there was nobody there. I decided to loot the box hoping for a gun. I got a Galil, and I decided to rack it just because I know every gun is not loaded. At that point, I'm honestly surprised that player did not hear me rack, and that is one thing that a lot of you guys should start being aware of, is any noises in the game. It doesn't matter if it's a scav, it doesn't matter if it's a, a player or anything. Just be aware of all the noises you hear. He clearly heard me racking because he was clearly actually not looking at me. He was looking at the wall, which was pretty weird. But I decided to rotate over it because I didn't want anybody who was rushing inside of garage to know my exact location because I know it's most common for players to hide behind the ATV or anti-tank. I don't know. Whatever it's called, let me know down in the comments. After slowly creeping up bit by bit to see who else and to see what he was looking at or what he was trying to, I guess, capitalize on, I decided to inch my way as well. And I honestly was thinking to myself, should I just wait here or should I just push up? But honestly, my intuition and my patience kind of got a little bit of irritated. A little bit of irritated? That's not a word. A little bit irritated. Sorry about that. But basically, I just kind of honestly decided, you know what? After I heard those shots, I was like, okay, they're definitely using a silencer. And they definitely just killed the player. That was my green light to go up and push up. Seeing that that player was weak and seeing that that player was basically dead. I didn't know if it was a duo or a solo, but I know somebody had to be using a silenced weapon. I decided to holster my Galil 
and pull out my grenade, throwing it directly down the hall. Sorry, I just had to intervene here. Here's one thing that also I kind of noticed while editing this video. Why did I throw the grenade? And also, on top of that, why did I throw the grenade so badly? I don't know if it's the game mechanics or anything, but here's another tip before we continue on with this clip here. One thing, if you're gonna throw a grenade down a hallway, make sure it is straight. I have countless of hours in this game. I don't know why I didn't make that decision in my head. Um, I kind of understand because I may have thought in my head at the time that, oh, there may be in the hallway. But at this period of time of me throwing the grenade and it going off, I should have waited just a little bit then threw it so it could be an instant grenade. But I made that mistake, but please don't be like me. Next time, throw your grenades straight shot if you can, if possible. After it going off, I decided to fully commit. Now, we are going to go back. As you saw, after I pushed those two kids, I kind of made a mistake. I should have just kind of looked down the hallway and just kind of pre-fired a few shots off and moved. But since I was kind of stuck in a tunnel vision mode of kill who's ever down that hallway, I kind of failed at that. Reason being is because there was two players down directly down the hall. What I could have done is I could have waited right by the truck that I was originally at and I could have easily capitalized on these players coming through. But since my since my patience kind of fucked me in this situation, I kind of just decided to push and try to be greedy for a kill but it cost me the death. So the main thing that you guys can take away from this is just be more patient. Don't try to rush everything that you hear and don't try to rush everything that you see or if you even see a gunfight going on and you know that player has to rotate towards you or you know those players have to rotate towards you, just play it a little bit more slow. Hide in that bush, hide in that corner. It doesn't matter. They can call you a rat or a camper, but it doesn't matter as long as you get the kill and you leave out surviving. So let's go on to clip number two. Alrighty, so we're jumping into the next clip here and basically I spawned on level 2 of Silo and I decided to make a mad dash seeing that these two scavs were looking the other way I decided to make a mad dash to this box here seeing that I instantly had nothing by the way This was a full kind of I guess to say kind of a rat run um, so basically I decided to go back here behind this empty tank and I decided there was nothing there either So I decided to make the mash dash all the way. I mean mad dash all the way to LA once I was in elevator room, also here's a quick tip for you guys. Once I was in elevator room, a thing that you guys can do is if you spam grip and and like ungrip, if you just spam that while moving your hand while gripping the elevator, it will automatically make you go 10 times faster instead of you having to grab the elevator and slide it all of the way. So let's return back to the clip. So, but anyways, after I was inside, I saw that I had a GPU, but I saw in my head, I didn't have no gun, I didn't have anything. After the getting this F in, I decided, okay, I'm kind of loaded, but again, I don't have a backpack on this, so I couldn't really bring out as much as I wanted to. So I just decided to grab the valuable stuff. Basically, that was the camera lens, I mean, not the camera lens, but basically kind of the GPU in this area, in this aspect. I saw I had a helmet and I was like, okay, now I'm out. I immediately decided to rush out. Reason being is because I only had an FN. Somebody could easily come push me. Seeing that my extract was all the way at the bottom, I decided, okay, I can make a quick mad dash to the bottom. So I dropped down, seeing that there was a player and I noticed instantly there was two players. One thing, let me pause the clip really quick. One situation that I could have done, I could have easily jumped over directly to that pillar, as you guys can see right there. I'm gonna blow it up for you guys right here. I could have easily directly jumped to that pillar and could have easily capitalized on the kill getting a semi-guaranteed headshot. But guess what I decided to do? I decided to sit and wait and have a mini gunfight with this person. Now knowing in my head he's using a semi-automatic, he instantly, instantly headshots me with an MP40. So let's go back to this clip. So to analyze this clip the best way that I can, at this point, once I noticed that it was a player down that, down that ladder, after killing him, I should have 
instantly jumped to the other ledge because that other player with the mp40 wouldn't be noticing it or i should have took the time of him backing up i should have jumped to the other pillar and while he was backing up trying to readjust his aim i should have taken the random chance to try to shoot him in the head so without further ado let's move on to the last and final clip so for this third and final raid i spawned in on the second floor of missile silo i heard some footsteps and decided to go investigate originally i was looking at that scab to see what he was looking at right in the corner and seeing that it was just a scab i went for a headshot attempt not landing any shots with this thing and fully running out of ammo i decided to move to my hunter 85. Seeing that there was another scab dead, I decided to grab the SKS just in case there was a player in the elevator room. And the little did I know, it was. Now, if you guys could tell me what I did wrong here, I would be very appreciative. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Let's go back. So, originally... This player did see me and I did see him, but let's go back to the kill screen again. As you can see, I did kill him with a headshot. So he is dead, but at the same time, I'm dead. A way we could have prevented this is playing it a little bit more slower and maybe moving over to the ATV after I picked up the SKS. That probably would have been a way better plan instead of full on rushing him and dying like we did. So what do we learn from this? play more slowly and sometimes think ahead instead of just rushing in like i said in the intro sometimes your aggression gets the best of you and you think you can kill the player but most of the time it just gets you put in a bad spot and this is a great example of it so guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and also like and subscribe if you're new and also we have another video coming out in two hours from this from this video releasing so get ready for that as well I, again i did keep my promise three uploads but again i'm very sorry that we cannot do a live stream this weekend but next week i promise i will try to move in the time i'll try to take some time off and try to get that live stream for you guys remember i'm keeping my promise we're gonna do a three hour live stream so have a nice night or day wherever you are peace